It sounds like a strange video game mashup, but farmers have reported zombie plants since the early 1600s. Not all zombies look like The Walking Dead, at least when it comes to plants. Plants become a zombie, living only to sustain its masters so the living dead. The plants begin forming leaf-like structures instead of the beautiful blossoms. The effect is that the plants lose their ability to reproduce. Plants take an unhealthy yellow look and grow strange leaf-like structures or bushy growths instead of flowering. Since 1967, we have known that this is because of bacteria called phytoplasma, which infects several species of flowering plants, like apple trees, strawberries, vinca, aster members, coconut palms, coneflower, mulberry trees, sandalwood, sugarcane, and wine grapes. It founds mostly in tropical and subtropical regions. Germany scientists found exactly how the bacteria take over plants and turn them into the living dead. Infected plants may survive but can't produce flowers and they often sprout weird growths in place of their usual flowers so, they look like zombies. Infected plants may die as the bacteria damages their phloem, the tissue that transports carbohydrates from the leaves. The bacteria produce a protein, which mimics the structure of a protein in its plant hosts involved in the development of blossoms. When other proteins in the plant bind with foreign proteins instead of plants own proteins, that disturbs the process of developing petals and other flower organs. For example, like apple trees, phytoplasma infection causes a condition called witch's broom, in which the trees produce a dense mass of shoots from a single point, creating bushy, broom-like growths. The phytoplasma's bacteria's ability, to force the plant to stop producing flowers and instead start producing weird leaves a symptom called Phil Lodi. Phil Lodi is only a part of the zombieism picture, and others include dwarfism and witch's broom, a plant disease symptom in which the infected plant, starts sending up new shoots in dense bunches.